Good morning, YouTube. Welcome back to another video of mine. So it is a good day to have a good day. Um, it is a Wednesday. I am, let's see, let's do the math. Nine days out, nine days out, 10 days out. I don't know. Um, but anywho, I am going to vlog a little bit today. So I woke up and I had a new low in and I'm super happy about that. So in my last vlog, I had told you guys that last week I was just feeling very, very unusually like low in energy, very unlike myself, um, right? Like I get that you're, you know, in prep, it's, it gets like a grind, right? But this was just like weird, weird. I don't know. I think I had a virus and I think that was part of it. But anyways, your girl is feeling so much better. I don't want to jinx things, but I also want to be present in the moment and appreciate how I'm feeling right now. Um, so waking up to a new low in was exciting. Um, we're, right, we're right within range of where my coach said we probably needed to be for this show, which also leads me to, I'm gonna go be meeting with Paul if all goes accordingly. We have plans to meet. Um, I'm gonna drive to his gym and we're gonna get some content. So I'll try and film some of that while I am there. Um, but I do wanna touch base in this video just about kind of where my protocol has been, how we've been navigating, um, you know, going show to show, cause I do get questions, a good amount um, of questions about like, how do you go show to show? Or how do you do multiple shows in one season? I get that one a lot. Um, I work with a lot of first time competitors and they'll sometimes ask me like, coach, you know, can I do multiple shows? And I'm like, heck yeah, right? It just comes down to how do you navigate the in-between phase, right? That can be a little bit of a challenge, but I'm gonna chat about that. Um, so welcome to today's video and I will see you guys in a little bit. Okay, so I'm getting a little bit of a later start to going to do my first round of cardio, but I'm getting ready to walk to the gym. I got a little sidetracked with some client check-ins. Um, and also I had an early morning posing session with my client Suki who I think watches this but she is Oh my god, her posing is amazing. She's a first-time competitor and let me tell you guys posing does not look like a first-time competitor Like we've been working together for a while now over I think a year and her posing is so damn good But anyways, I digress I'm gonna walk to the gym and then I'm, I'm currently just making my little pre-cardio drink so I've been adding in PE Science and Versalite, which is the electrolyte powder. And I've actually recently started doing a scoop of their Alphamine, which is their like fat burner. And I've never, I'm not taking it for that purpose. I'm actually just taking it because it gets my heart rate up a little bit um, easier when I'm doing cardio. So I'm gonna sip on this as I walk to the gym. It's like, eh, it's like a little bit less than a half mile away. I've got my book because I've been reading while I've been doing steady state cardio and that's really helping the time to pass. So I'm gonna go knock that out and then I'm gonna head back here, do some work and then get packed up to go meet Coach Paul. All right, I am at the Perophysique studio. Coach Paul is in the gym. It's, so this is like connected to this gym. Um, he's training and I just came in here to get some work done because I'm not ready to train quite yet. Um, but then yeah, we're gonna get some content. By the way, I guess we have flannels now and these are super cute. So check that out. Um, great like show day cover up. But we've got the logo, we've got the ring light, got lots of space to pose. So that is what we are gonna do. Kind of like stage light now. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Look, you, you didn't have this before. See this little separation between your hip and your glute? That That is nice. That is what we need to make you stand out. Man, you have gotten a lot better. Look at that lower back. Yeah. Ooh, dude, this is the best you've ever looked. Really? I hope you're excited. I am. It's, it's really hard for me to get like out of the subjectivity goggles. Like that's hard well, for me. Well, let me get excited for you because I look at bikini <laughs> every single weekend and this is a good Look, like, okay, look. good, good. Hit and tell me if you think I need to change anything in my front pose. Like, just hit it really, hit it right now, and then one, two, three. I don't think you change anything. That's flawless. Okay, okay go ahead, transition. Keep that back tight. Good. Yes. Mm -hmm. No, I will say, don't move anything. This shoulder is pinched down too much. There. So this shoulder is about half an inch higher than this shoulder. Okay. So I don't know if you if you can relax this one or bring this one up. Okay. That's better. That's 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 symmetrical. I don't think it's going to make a whole lot of a difference, you know, at this level. But once yeah. we go to nationals and stuff, that's going to start to matter. Hold on. One, two, three. Two, three. 
one picture is not. Here, back up two steps. Okay, now turn and face front. Come in just a little bit more. The more down lighting we get, the more dramatic the lighting is going to look. One, two, three. Yeah. This is what's exciting to me. That little bit of hip detail there, I've never seen that on you before. Oh, it looks like way better. Way better. I mean, you're completely different. Oh my god, it, that's yeah. That does not look like what it does in my lighting. At well, this my is this apartment. is closer to stage lighting. Okay. See that lower back tie-in? Yeah. Nice. All right, I'm getting a clip clip for YouTube. I'm with Paul and George. What? Yes, Paul. How do you feel oh, about the YouTube? <laughs> the YouTube celebrity. Name. I'm almost catching yeah, up to you. Using my past name. I'm almost at 6K subscribers. I'm getting close to you, right? I have bad news. I've added 17,000 this month. <gasps> You're gonna have to work harder, Lexi. Okay, tell, tell um, how do you think things are looking? Because you know big I told you- Big step forward. I don't I mean, see myself. I mean, big step forward. I, you know, as a, as a coach, pictures, videos, they, they're good, but the naked eye test is, is much different. And the second you walked in today, I could see more your core detail, I could see more separation. And then when you posed, I see more hip detail. I think you and I have been attached to a number on the scale. Yeah. And we got to get bit. detached from that. I don't care what the yeah. number says. I want the details. Because if you get that hip to pop, that hip detail we're getting, those tie ins sharp, your waist, your structure is very good. It's going to be a very interesting couple shows that we do here. So, yeah, yeah. I'm very happy. Yeah. Okay, home now. Obviously, I just took a hot bath um, and I'm getting ready to make some protein fluff. Um, if you guys know, I'm obsessed with protein fluff. If you are new here, you can go check out. I have a full reel on my Instagram, like a little tutorial, um, but I'll show you guys what the end product looks like. Um, but I believe the last clip you guys saw was of Coach Paul, and I am so happy that I went to go pose with him um, because that really just like got me a little bit more confident in myself going into this show so I'm super pumped for that um, we did sit down and we filmed content for a video that's going to be out on the pro physique studio YouTube page so if by the time I put out this video that that video is up I'll link it but if not I'll just link the pro physique studio channel so you can subscribe there and check out the video when it is live we just basically talk about our strategy um, and like what we did between my Texas show and now the Tampa Pro Show. And we also talk a little bit about like the Tampa Pro Show and why we like it and kind of why we picked it, all that stuff. So um, I'm gonna make my protein fluff because I'm very hungry. Um, I've got some work to finish up because I went to go pose in the middle of the day and then I had to like kind of drive there and back. So that commute took a little bit of time out of my work day. So I've got plenty of work to finish up, but I'm happy about that. I like staying busy. Um, and it was so convenient because I got to the studio, which is like you guys saw, it's like a gym as well. So I trained there after we posed and my car like said that my two front tires, the air pressure was pretty low. And so I'm like, oh great. Because like, I just don't trust myself to go to a gas station and fill them up like I just don't I've tried to sometimes be like self-sufficient like that and then it goes wrong uh, but like it was so convenient because legit right across the street from the pro physique studio was the car dealership uh, for my car um, not where I bought it from but like the same type of car like the dealership so I just swung by I'm like hey do you guys think you could fill up my two front tires? And they're like, yeah. And they were like, not busy. It took two seconds. So, so convenient. So I'm going to finish up some work. I'm going to make some protein fluff. And of course, I'm going to sit down and I'm going to chat a little bit about what Paul and I have done between my shows, um, the approach we've taken. And yeah, just chat more about that. Before I make my protein fluff, I just ordered some more protein uh, from BE Science. I went with the chocolate truffle flavor. So I've had this flavor before and I love it. I just wanted to get a new one. The last one I ordered was white chocolate macadamia. So I got this one this time. And if you have never ordered from BE Science, you would not know, but they send you these samples every time you order. So these are all free samples. Got a bunch of stuff. They always send these, which is one of my favorite parts of ordering from them. You can use my discount code if you want to order from PE Science, but I am going to go ahead and whip up some protein fluff. 
So I figured I'd just do a very quick voice over on this. So this is my protein fluff. If you want the full recipe, um, it is on my Instagram. It is literally just PE Science Protein, water and ice, and it's blended together for a long time. That is the key. And the key is using the right protein. PE Science never fails. So just had to show you guys this. It's one of my staples. What's up, my dudes? Okay, so I'm just sitting here, and I am compiling footage um, for my for this YouTube video, and I'm also doing some client check-ins, but I I haven't discussed yet the strategy that Paula and I took between shows, like between Texas and between now, um, to come in with all the improvements that we have been able to make, but I also just re-watched the, the clip that I put earlier in this video when I was posing with Paul, and a lot of the stuff he said in the background, I didn't realize I got that on camera, and it like, ugh, he's never said that stuff to me, and it's you know, like, it's so amazing to hear that. Like, I know he truly means it, and so it, it feels really good to hear him say those things. But I digress. Um, I've been emailing him this morning, and it's so weird because today is a full recovery day. I only have 15 minutes of cardio. That is it. And so, like, it's so odd when, like, you go from doing so much for so long, and, like, you get in your routine of, like, you know, the double cardio sessions and all that. Like, it's so bizarre not doing that. I feel like it's, it's so weird. It's so weird. But I told Paul, I'm like, I can do more cardio today if you want. And he's like, no, rest. Because apparently I haven't got my peak week plan yet. I'm waiting on that. But he said we're going to push pretty damn hard tomorrow, Sunday, and Monday. So yay for that. Okay, quick little intermission because I was sent something exciting in the mail, it's a pretty big package, um, but I wanted to give a little shout out to one of my old friends, well, no, she's one of my current friends, not my old friends, one of my old coworkers, but one of my friends, Aurora, she just started this company um, and she's making these bags, so it's called Task Active. I will link her website below, um, but I wanted to do a little unboxing and show you guys what exactly I got and um, kind of what it looks like. And oh my gosh, she's so sweet because there's, there's a handwritten card. I love that, I love that, that is so sweet. Okay, so I won't read the card out loud um, on camera, but I did wanna show you guys what this bag looks like because it's really cool. Um, I'm gonna link the Instagram below, or not link, but I'll put the Instagram below too if you guys wanna follow her Instagram account. So she just started this company and I am all for supporting a small business. Um, and so you guys know, well, I think many of you guys know, I love my Wolfpack backpack. I still do. I just love having a backpack to carry around a lot of things, right? So this is a super cool backpack. It's a little bit more like a fancy type, like, it, you know, it can kind of cross over as like being a work bag too, right? But it's really cool because just like my wolf pack, it has a meal compartment. So it's got an insulated little spot in the front um, and then it zips up up here and it looks like, oh, it has like two pockets. So it has this main pocket right here and then it has another one on the back and it's super, super cute. So if you guys are interested in supporting a business, a small business, um, and you could use a backpack, one with a meal carrier, or you know, you could just throw a drink in here too, right? Um, then I will put her Instagram below, and I do have a discount code. She gave me a discount code that I could offer you guys. It's my normal discount code, LexiMate. Um, don't quote me, I don't know exactly how much it gets you off this bag, but I do know it gets a little um, a little bit off of this bag. But I'm really excited to use this. It's so cute and I have to be very honest, my wolf pack is getting a little dirty because I use it every day. So I'm so excited to use this. Okay, I am back and I'm gonna close out this video, but before I do so, I'm gonna give you guys a little Little recap of um, kind of what Paul and I's strategy has been between Texas and now. Um, I do believe, and I say this wholeheartedly, that this will be the best Lexi you will ever see on stage. Um, well, not ever in the future, but the best Lexi you've seen thus far is gonna be hitting the stage this upcoming week. I can confidently say that I do believe that to be the case. And um, just getting Paul's validation the other day was really important for me. And um, he's, you know, he's somebody who doesn't, he doesn't just throw around compliments like that. So hearing that from him was really like hearing that he thought this was the best I ever looked and that this is like exactly what the standard is made me super happy. So basically what we've done because we've had about four weeks in between my shows, um, Republic of Texas was like, Believe. So it's been about three weeks, but it'll have been four weeks in between both of these shows. Um, what we did is the first few days after Texas, I want to say the first five days, we basically brought my calories up about, I think we 
brought them up maybe like 300 calories, maybe 250 if I'm doing the math. I know we brought carbs up like 60 grams of carbs up. Um, we brought carbs up to like about 60 grams of carbs for like four or five days in a row. And then we cut my cardio down to like a mere fraction af uh, for about five days after Texas, um, just to get me like feeling good again, rejuvenated. Um, and then basically we knew like with my feedback from Texas that I needed to be leaner, right? So in that case, we knew I needed to just, we needed to push. It wasn't like, like if my feedback was the opposite that I was too lean, that would be another scenario, right? But when we probably have to actually push food up, but we needed to be leaner. So we took a couple days, kind of reset, you know things got my body feeling good um, with the higher food lower cardio and then we went back at it again and we've been digging ever since um, so today I am feeling excited I am feeling good um, one thing that I have just tried to like do throughout this prep is I mentioned that Paul has said he's gonna push me the next few days I haven't gotten my peak week plan yet I'm still waiting probably have it soon um but I'm trying not to think about it too much like I'm not I'm trying not to sit here and think like oh my god how hard is it gonna be this weekend like how am I gonna get through tomorrow how am I gonna get through Sunday how am I gonna get through Monday because those are the three days he said we would push and um I'm trying not to have that mindset I'm honestly just trying to have the mindset of like don't think just do and focus day by day like don't stress yourself out about what's to come when it hasn't even gotten here like that's just it's unnecessary stress, right? And that's definitely a mindset I have evolved to having over time. Sorry, my fridge is like running in the background. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear that, but that's definitely a mindset I've grown to have over time. And I talk to my clients about this all the time. I say like, you know, it's it's okay to be proactive and to think ahead, but you can't psych yourself out too far ahead when like before something happens, right? Because then you're just stressing yourself out for no reason. So I digress. I will definitely be putting up probably one more video between now and when I get on stage for Tampa Pro. But like I said, I do believe this will be the best Lexi you have ever seen. So stay tuned. Thank you guys for your always, always, always your continued support. It means the world to me. And I hope that wherever you guys are at, you have a great rest of your day.